Hi, this is Ronnie from r, r Importers and I'm gonna do a review on the new Doogie Y100X, also known as the Doogie Nova. Um, okay, let's just quickly go through the box, see what you get inside. So you've got your screen protector, you've got your charger, set of earphones and your USB cable. Okay, so nothing fancy inside there, just your basic accessories. Okay, so um, on the back of the box you've got your spec, so it comes with a 2.5D curved screen, 5 inch HD resolution IPS OGS. Uh, you've got the quad core processor, you've got Android 5, you've got 1 gig RAM with 8 gig internal memory, uh, 8 megapixel rear camera with 5 megapixel front, and then just your frequencies that it's running on. Okay, let's move on to the phone. Um, so, what makes this special is obviously the price very very good price point and what do you get for the price so you get you get a nice uh, HD screen 5 inch very nice slim phone uh, you've got your 8 megapixel on the rear with flash you've got your volume buttons here on the back which is uh, very convenient for your finger so you don't have to reach around or move your thumb like this so you've got it in right place where your finger sits on the front you've got your ear speaker your front facing camera your proximity and light sensor and what's interesting as well on this device is a small flash right there for your um, front facing uh, selfies and then on the back you've got your rear speaker there it's a gloss finish on the back, so um, it does leave a lot of fingerprints, but you do have the plastic case as well, which you can use if you want to. Okay, so um, obviously um, screen is very nice, the phone is very nice, solid build. Um, it's got the three capacitive touch buttons on the bottom. They do not light up and there's no LED notification light. Okay, so going into the phone, you've got Android version 5 on you. Uh, very nice screen quality. You've got, uh, currently it's on auto brightness, so you've got low, medium, high brightness. So even in uh, bright sunshine, it uh, works very well and the, the um, or the color reproduction on the screen is very nice as well. Uh, quickly going through some of the apps I've pre-installed already and I've been using it for about a week and uh, it's very nice. I'm currently indoors so um, GPS works quite well. It gets a signal outside it gets a signal inside so um, GPS works well and uh, accuracy currently 6 meters that will drop the more satellite in, uh, it gets or if you're outside it will drop even lower and I'm only on device only so I'm not using um, internet and network to get a fix Okay, uh, maybe quickly go through a game. So I'm going to quickly do a demo on Nova 3, which is a very um, graphic intense game, I would say. Uh, oh, I removed the SD card. So I'm not going to be able to show you that game, unfortunately. Um, Nova 3 runs pretty smooth on it, so just to uh, 
show that it is uh, capable of still playing pretty much any game currently on the Play Store. Uh, let's go to some other apps. YouTube. Okay, I've got Teletubbies there, so let's see. Music. Okay, so YouTube plays nice and smooth, the sound is pretty good that's coming out of the phone. Let's check if I've got some music on you. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it's not the greatest sound, so you're not going to have a party with the phone alone, um, but it's decent sound, so you should be able to enjoy your, enjoy your movies and videos and stuff on it. Um, okay, the next thing I'm quite impressed with actually for this, uh, in this budget range phone, is the camera. So we're going to see and go into camera quickly. Okay, just a short video. So video ni is nice, the sound is nice. And then obviously with good light conditions you're gonna take uh, pretty decent pictures so once again in this price range I'm quite impressed with the camera Okay, and then um, just quickly showing you the front flash. Uh, let's turn this camera around. Uh, flash is on, so you'll notice here when I take a picture the front flash. So for that. Um, dark indoor shots that's pretty decent and the rear flash also works pretty well okay uh, let's see what else we've got here okay google chrome quickly go to a website okay, let's see uh, Namibian
Yeah, unfortunately, I'm connected through Wi-Fi and uh, our internet has been going up and down this last month or so. Okay, it's loading finally. Okay, so let's see if we can load something else quickly. Go to sport. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so uh, you can watch your, check your internet. Uh, check your websites, read your newspaper without any issues. Let's go to our website quickly. There you'll find all our phones and reviews and stuff that we do on it. is WhatsApp asking me to verify my account. Okay, then uh, obviously you've got the Play Store pre-installed where you download all the apps and games and all that stuff. Play Store, it's there. So from here that's where you can download WhatsApp Viber, Facebook, games and over a million other apps that you can find here. You can search from there or you can go to apps and then you can go to paid and free which is WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, antivirus, Bible. So a lot of free apps that you can get there. Uh, quickly going through the settings. It has uh, some gesture, smart wake up. So here you can set double tap to wake, slide upwards to unlock and put all these other gestures in. Okay, so we'll do that one. Slide down for camera. Let's test it. Double tap will wake your phone. Uh, slide up will wake your phone. Slide down will open your camera. Okay, so there's a lot of Features there, hold your home button to get your recent apps. Then you've got system gestures, smart motion, uh, turn for silence. So when that's on and you get a call, just flip it like this and it mutes. Answer by swing, get a call and you swing and you can answer your phone. Uh, put the phone next to your ear to turn off hands-free mode. So you can use that as well. Uh, system gestures. Uh, three finger screenshot. Two finger volume. Tap two fingers on screen to adjust volume. Okay, that's up. Volume down. Okay, so that's also pretty cool. So it saves you from using your buttons all the time. Double tap lock screen in any screen, double tap home like that, which is also a nice feature. Uh, okay, you've got location, security accounts, it's there, back up and reset, smart gestures. Um, so smart gestures is just swiping to do certain stuff on. So you go there and you unlock. 
in music you can skip songs like that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, then obviously you've got your messaging app. Create a new SMS. Type like this or like that. Your phone, you've got your torch right there. So as you can see the flash is pretty decent. Okay, and then YouTube I've gone through. For those that like to do work, um, receive emails with attachments and stuff, you've got uh, which I use WPS Office. So when you do get a Word or Excel attachment, uh, then you can quickly open it, you can edit it with this. And from here you can also create a new spreadsheet, presentation, document. Okay, so this will obviously be Excel. So you can create a new one or just open existing one if you get one by email, which is also pretty nice. And then um, you've got your Google Voice. What's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow's forecast for commerce is 26 degrees and sunny. Okay, Google. Wake me up at 6 a.m. Okay, 6 a.m. Setting your alarm. Okay, then you can make doc doctor's appointments. Okay, Google. Set doctor's appointment for next Monday at 11. Okay, do you want to save this? Cancel. Event cancelled. OK Google, open music app. OK, that obviously needs to be set under your settings. Then you can open certain apps as well. OK, so there are a lot of uh, voice gestures that you can do on it as well. So, um, yeah. Um, obviously uh, your sound quality is nice, uh, your mic quality is very good. Um, so yeah, in the week I've been using it I've had no issues, no false closes, no shutdowns. Battery life is decent, um, I was pretty impressed but this process has always been a very um, energy efficient um, processor so uh, you a normal average user that only do emails, WhatsApp, phone calls, that kind of stuff during the day, you should easily go through your working day with one charge. If you're going to play a lot of games and stuff, obviously you're going to get maybe three, four hours of battery use out of the phone. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed and obviously the price makes this a very, very good deal when you compare this with your um, Samsung brand phones which just this the specs on this is just much much better than what you're getting for the same price on your your Samsung and Sony and those kinds of phones um, so really nice phone um, we do have them in store currently so do come and check it check it out for yourself and you're going to be pretty impressed with this uh, so thanks for watching bye